I'm a father, bro. I know Lenny's a father. You're a father now. You're having to be a father and a mother now. So I just wanted to check in with you, bro, on how you're doing. Uh, I know you're dealing with a lot, you know, trying to step in and be there for your kids, be there for your career, be there for your family. How are you holding up? I mean, we're just staying prayed up. That's the, that's the key to it all, you know what I'm saying? That's, it ain't no recipe or no, you know what I'm saying? No secret ingredient. You just got to stay prayed up. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You inspired me. I appreciate you. You did. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a, and I ain't, you know, I know it's tough, like, you bring up, you know, whatever. Right. But I'll say one thing that came out of that situation that maybe you aren't aware of, or maybe you are. Maybe it went viral. I don't know. I'm not an internet person like that. But I saw one thing when somebody asked you about that question on some platform somewhere, and I discovered more about you in that first five minutes mm -hmm. that you responded than I have your whole entire career. Mm -hmm. Knew you was talented, knew you shine. When I found out your spiritual wherewithal, mm -hmm. when I found out your purpose, mm -hmm. when you spoke so much life after experiencing so much loss, mm -hmm. I was brother. I was telling, I was telling my sister, and I was like, bro, I can't wait to meet bro, cause I ain't even nobody was like that. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't even know he had it like that. And you don't know forever in my book, you always like, if I get some money, sure. something going on, you know, I'm calling, you know, where I wouldn't have known that you had that. I appreciate but it. But you was vulnerable, you was honest, and you prayed, and you and, and I learned about your family and that your background spiritually, and I was like, oh, he not, it's a joke, but it ain't funny. Right, yeah. You right. did? Right. And I don't know if anybody told you that, but you inspired me to get through my personal situations. I lost my auntie, lost my homeboy, that. literally that same, and I was like, Oh, I needed that. I got a word. I didn't know I was going to church today. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes right. you don't know where church gonna find you. Right. You know what I mean? You don't know where the word gonna find you in. Right. I don't know if you know, but that was hard. I don't know. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, man. I, I, that's why you gotta, you gotta, you gotta with, with this with this <clears throat> term called life. You gotta take accountability and you gotta have some uh, form of acceptance. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of people get get frustrated off things they know damn well they can't change. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And then use it for an excuse to act impulsively. Yeah. Like, with, this is why I'm doing this. They're like, why? Could that happen? That don't make it right though, my boy. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, by me being from the streets, I have that, that form of, ah. but then the spirituality it's like, you know how you hold the little boy head and he just swinging? Yeah. And he just swinging. Yeah. That is spirituality, just holding my head. Now, it, that when people be thinking that it's all, it's, it's roses, now. Nah, I'm, I'm swinging. Yeah. But the spirit ain't letting me go hit nobody. Yeah, oh, I Amen. won't harm myself. Amen. Yeah. So sometimes you got to swing because you're frustrated. And then once they realize he ain't swinging no more. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, 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 yeah. I know I got that spiritual guidance that's gonna hold me when I'm ready to swing. That's right. So it's like, you know, you 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 strong and I understand God using me. Yeah. yeah. I know that. Like you say, I, I know I'm finna get up out of here. I don't know when, but I know that for sure. Nah, for sure. So I gotta make sure that my generation is up under me, is well taken care of, and also understand this too, because I read the Bible. My by me being obedient. I'm making sure the generations after me is taken care of. You feel me? Somebody gonna fuck it. I mean, I mean, somebody gonna mess up. But by me being obedient, I'm we're reaping the benefits because people before us yeah. was obedient. Yeah. Yeah. They was obedient. More than we were. Way more than more we were. More than we were. So we reaping yeah. what they went through. That's and by them being obedient, I'm like, all right, this is just part of my journey. That's so I understand that. I right. get it. So when the generation up under me, they be like, man, you know what granddaddy went through, man? Yeah, granddaddy had to stand on business, man. Yeah, granddaddy, da, 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 da. my mama, my auntie, my uncle, all of them went through it. But man, granddaddy, we really, everybody really don't know how granddaddy feel. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Correct. You feel, man? He don't Nobody, even know how to express how he feel. He don't, he don't even he know don't. how to express how he feel, but yeah. how he handled the situation made sure that we kept God in our life. We made sure we stay appreciative. Now we know that we really can go through anything yeah, yeah. if Granddad did. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm so saying? Fast. So it's it's it definitely be Wait, it's it's a twelve hard. more kids than you have. You did yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. So it's yeah. definitely hard and it's definitely a, a, a ongoing forever battle. Yeah. You feel me? But when you stand on God's path and you stand on course. You will be okay. You will be all right. He's gonna grant you the energy to keep going. But yeah. then we we have the craft to use our emotions. That's a fact. 
to even be greater. So when I'm speaking and when I'm talking, that's why I said I don't like to be cut off with wisdom because it's coming from a place. It's coming from a place Preach. where I have to get it out. Yeah. And when I'm getting cut off, I get frustrated no, because no. I'm already here mentally. But I have to be here spiritually mm -hmm. for all of us. For sure, you man. see what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a journey. And I'm glad that my people were praying people and I'm glad they put me in the church. Cause I even be at the house and I'd be like, man, ain't no word if I wasn't like this. I know where I'd be if I yeah. wasn't like this. Rich. I'd have been done hurt somebody, no. or crashed yeah. out, crashed or out. hurt myself. Yo. I ain't here for this, that, and I'm then I'm missing the whole purpose. I'm, every, now we going right back to this. Uh, I think I'm strong enough to handle it, and I think I'm strong enough to handle any other battle that's think is coming towards my way. I got my boots on and my shield right now. Yeah, I'm so ready. Right. You, you are strong enough, bro. and you're giving other people. And I'm giving to other people. I'm won't. giving other people, and it's also like you say. I'm. I know that people are watching, mm -hmm. so I gotta make sure that when I move, I know it's a multitude moving with me. Right. So if I make the if I crash, you know what I mean. The people I just led to a, a right, brick right. wall. Spit. You feel what I'm saying? So, so if you know God, and you know God is love. Absolutely. And when you're giving off of love, then you know God is in the mix. Yeah. So, damn how maybe I really feel. Mm -hmm. Like how I truly, truly, truly feel. But if I'm moving like this, it's not a facade. It's not fate. Mm. It's not, it's ain't, it ain't no industry. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. This is the spirit. You feel me? So if the spirit is moving this way, we gotta go this way. Yeah. Because if we go the opposite way, you know where you know where that's gonna take you. You know where that's gonna lead you. Destruction. Okay. And we all know what destruction leads is mm -hmm. don't it don't let nothing good come out of it. We all gonna have bad days. We all gonna have bad days. We don't write our story. You can't write your story. You don't know what you do when you get in the car when everybody live. We praying everybody make it home. Yeah. But we don't know. So when you live righteous and you, you know what I'm saying, you live right, I just want to be able to look the high power in his face when it's all done and say, why, well, I tried. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I gave it that. I, I did not fold. And no matter what test I went through, did I not stand on business. That's a fact. You feel me? And I want to be able to walk through heaven gates knowing that, you know, I did that. You did. I did that for me and mine. You did. You know what man. I'm saying? Yeah. So. God's will gonna do it every time, man. Every I think time. being a father will too, man. So I lost my dad when I was 18, bro, first week of college. So I wasn't a dad at that point. Um, bro, I dropped out of college, freshman year. Dropped out of school, was partying, drinking, depressed, going through it. Fast forward, when I was a father, two years ago, my mom almost lost her on her birthday to a heart attack as well. Found my mama passed out on the floor, right? And I remember she's in the hospital, she's in a coma for two weeks in the hospital. And I remember being on the phone with my brother and I'm like, bro, I'm just, I'm tired of fighting. You know what I'm saying? But I got I got a child. I got a six year old that depend on me. He don't understand what's going on with mama. He not understanding what's going on. He had his first day of kindergarten while she's in a coma. Mm -hmm. I still gotta show up. I still gotta take him to school. I still gotta show up and be a parent. So I think being a father helps you fight back. We talked about mm -hmm. fighting back. Man, that shit has helped me so much in life. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause a lot of times where I come home, it's like, bro, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of going through it in life. I'm tired of feeling like I gotta struggle to just get through the day. Um, but it's like my kid. You know, he he is my why. He keeps me through that, man. So lean on those children. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why you going through what you're going through, bro? It's powerful. Like he said, what you're doing is inspiring for people like me. Like to see you but through it, to see you fight back the way you do, it's not normal. Um, yeah. So understand that you are a vessel for a lot of people mm -hmm. that are watching this, a lot of people who may not even see this, but just know you are a vessel. I appreciate it. For and sure. I like to tell people that's in the streets, if you gangster in the streets, you could be gangster having a relationship with the high power. Mm. Like I, I'm real gangster when it come to that. Ain't no. That's a fact. You, I ain't mom. I stand on that for show, for show. Yeah. If you gangster enough to go do some arm robbery. If you gangster enough to go sell some dope. If you if you gangster enough to take from your brother, you are gangster enough to have a relationship with the high power and stand on the same business. And that's how I am when it come to my spirituality. I'm real front line mm. gangster. If don't nobody else wanna go, I go. Come on now. Don't nobody move, I move. Every lick, I'm on it. Every, every, I, I be the example. Okay, I'm gonna scratch it, cause I know you gonna make sure that I'm taken care of. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And if somebody got to do it in order for the next 40, 50 years to be smoothing out, 
It's worth it. It's worth it. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So and I, I, I take that mentality. It's like going to war. It's like going to battle. You don't even know these folks. You they think about people in the army. You don't know you fine. Mm -hmm. You just was told by your commander in chief, this is who you got to go at. So it's like that with a spiritual battle. It's you know every day when you leave out your house, it's war time. I know people ain't gonna believe in what I believe in. The industry, you you know, it's a lot of enemies mm -hmm. when it's like, mm -hmm. ooh, but y'all ain't right on the inside. You can mm -hmm. feel it. You can feel you it. You can feel it. Yeah. And so that, you gotta be make gotta sure. You gotta make sure you gotta have that armor still mm -hmm. because. I'm a human being and I'm, like you said, I'm not perfect. Yeah. So I don't want to do nothing unrighteous where I'm like, after I do it later on, I'm like, I knew better. Man, I can't believe they got me up out of there, man. Ain't nobody got that much. Don't nobody got control over me, man. But me. So far. I can't believe I reacted. Man, he really got up under my skin when I know I'm too smooth and swift for that. So I gotta know how to handle everything, anything. So even when this came, it was just like, whoo. Yeah, that's one. That's one of them. Hey, that's, that's one, one of them. That's one of them ones. ones. That's one, one of them ones. ones. And it ain't yeah. fake. It's one of it's real. Ain't no game, ain't no reset button, ain't no nothing. So it's like, like being in the streets, man. You gotta adjust right now, man. You Energy. gotta adjust right now. And how do I adjust? I don't know. How do I get through it? I don't know. I just say, you know what? I pray, ask for guidance, I ask for the strength, I ask for the wisdom, I ask to be around genuine people, I ask to remove negative energy, mm. I ask to guide my footsteps and guide the words that I speak out of my mouth because I know me. If I get angry enough, I don't care who you is in front of me, sucker. Dig what I'm saying? But that ain't the person that's going to save a multitude of people. Fact. That's only acting off impulse. I know that. I got to save my kids, my family, soldiers that yeah. live all the way on the other side of the country. That's a fact. That's going through something. And not only I'm going through something, I got to go get the energy from other soldiers who went through something. So all of this is what I'm doing is a, it's just a, a bundle of spirituality, Somebody who's willing to learn, somebody who's willing to uh, uh, accept what it, whatever the now is, yeah. and we got to move forward. Just like you have to accept that. You, your life's still going on. You got to take care of your kid. Your so, child don't even know what's going on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to navigate this. You got to show up and smile, too. too. Got to. Smile it's a key. It's a forever fight, but it's a forever struggle. But I'm here to tell you, brother. I'm here to tell everybody. The joy that you get when you know you are a real fighter. Mm, yeah. You it's feel what I'm saying? It's, it's a, a it's a it's a sense of it's peace, peace when you by yourself and you gotta let it out. And it be like, like you said, you wanna give up, but you like, man, I'm a fighter. Like I ain't even got to give up. Yeah. I can't give up. Yeah. I, them words don't even come out my cause I feel defeated. I be like, Watch when I get on my feet. Mm. I'm swinging. All right, yeah, you done hit me, you done knock me down, but why when I get up? Why I'm up tip. Matter of fact, mm, I'm gonna learn how to fight when I'm on the ground. Come on now. I you grab your ankle. It's a fact. Why I break an ankle, boy? Yeah. You feel me? I'm gonna I'm I'm find a way to get back on my feet. Yeah. So it's like that fight, that urge. That's why when I'm on stage or when I'm in uh, on a movie set, I'm like the passion that I'm bringing to it ever. Mm. I got to channel all these emotions. I'm channeling them on the way here. Come on now. Listen to the real. music, trying to figure it out. And I'm like, I gotta give myself a Yeah. You know I what I'm saying? I don't think it's a mistake that literally on your chest is fate. I don't think that it's a mistake that being black is parallel to that experience. Right. Right? Like, if you, if everything you said about fighting spiritually, showing up, being tired, it don't matter because it's bigger than you. That's just blackness, right? That's right. just, that's being a, a man, it's being a woman. And I think that. I'm really blessed to share this space with y'all, man. I appreciate it, brother. Really? Nah, Same I appreciate thing. this space Same with y'all, really.